doing a self breast exam and understanding what to look for and noticing a change and bringing it to the attention of your doctor could be the very thing that saves your life. So the three most common things that a woman will notice herself about her breasts is a new lump. So a new lump may not be protruding through your skin like it is here, but when we go over how to do a breast exam and you're running your fingers over the terrain of your breast, it will feel like a thickening or an actual lump with discrete edges. It may hurt, it may not, usually it doesn't. But if there's a new thing in your breast that you know was never there before, see your doctor. The next most important change that people can easily notice is a change in the nipple. So if you are always an Audi, you should stay an Audi for life. If it suddenly becomes flat like our middle lemon or inverted like this other one, that is a worrisome change and you should see your doctor. And then finally, one of the obvious things that you should notice is a sudden change in the size or shape of your breast. So if it used to look like this and suddenly it's much larger or Appropriately, this is actually an orange because the peel of an orange, we call it put orange, is a sign of a worrisome cancer called inflammatory, often misdiagnosed as an infection by wow. your normal doctor and also usually missed by a mammogram. So your eyeballs are the one thing that's gonna pick up the This is something that's literally missed by a mammogram? Yes, and wow. by doctors. And I didn't know anything about the any Audi but, thing. Yeah. I mean, I think of belly buttons when I think <laughs> of any Audis. I never, <laughs> I mean, I'm a person that's so like modest and weirded out. Like I barely look down in the shower. You're <laughs> not alone. You're not alone. And that's why I want to go over <laughs> breast health by the decade, because this to me is so important for women to become breast aware as teenagers. I'm not right. expecting, it's a reportable phenomenon for a teenager to have breast cancer. That's not what this is about. But at 13, I want young girls to start doing self-breast exams. And they're, so they're more comfortable with so it. So they're not wigged out in the shower and can't look at their they're own nipple like, in the mirror. Ah, right, okay. exactly. So in your teens, I want you to do self-breast exams once a month. Then in your 20s and 30s, you're gonna continue that monthly self-exam. You're gonna see a doctor, either your gynecologist or internist, with a clinical breast exam once every three years. Also, at 25, if you have any family history of breast cancer or any other risk factors, I want you to see a genetic specialist to assess your risk because maybe this self-breast exam once a month isn't enough. So maybe we need to start If you start have family more. history, you need to get that screening done. Exactly. The extra level of screening. Right. Right. So you do a risk assessment at 25 to figure out your screening plan, which is probably normal risk because most people are normal risk. And that means in your 40s and forever after, Annual squishing, the mammograms start. The old squish. Yes. What you want to start is annual mammos at age 40. Don't stop and don't skip years until you plan to die in the next five to 10 years. So keep on doing them. Well, later. that's creepy. How about y'all just keep going even if you're thinking you might die so you don't? <laughs> do you want to do anything with the fake boobs I yes. keep looking at? I want to teach you how to do a self breast exam. So okay. after you do the disrobing from the waist up and look in the mirror at the nipples that you don't want to look at, <laughs> And also looking for a change in the shape and size, right? right? You're doing the visual stuff, any new thickening, dimpling, retraction. Then you're gonna start the exam. You're gonna take Hello. the arm of the same breast you're examining and put it up over your head. You can do this in the shower, you can right. do it laying down, and you're gonna use the fat pads of the opposite hand in the middle three fingers to do your breast exam. And you're gonna make tiny little circles with light pressure. It's as if you're just trying to feel underneath the skin and you're gonna do the whole breast. Go back to the beginning, do it again a little bit deeper and a third time deeper. Third still. time. Three times, lady. And then in the armpit, yeah. give a little feel there, make sure you don't feel a marble in there. And then one gentle. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks so much, Christy. To make sure there's no bloody discharge. Repeat <clears throat> on the other breast and you're done for the month. That's cool. Do you, okay. And you do this yourself. Of course I do. Okay. Now, explain what the Lotus Foundation is and how layered it is. Okay, so if you go to pinklotus.com, you'll see all the things that we offer there. And the Pink Lotus Foundation is exclusively dedicated to providing low-income, uninsured, and underinsured women 100% free access to breast cancer screening and care. So that is something very near and dear to my heart Huge. because it's ludicrous to both right. of us that people would feel a lump and not have the means to figure out what it is. Are they gonna buy groceries and gas or check this thing out? Now you can come to us, we'll check it out for free. And then we also have the largest online social community for all things breast cancer. So you post and you get in and you chat and you can create a discussion group about neuropathy or whatever you want. We've got Breast List, which is like Craigslist, but you buy, sell, trade, give away your gently used scarves, hats, wigs, things you never want to and see again. And all of this goes to help women that can't afford proper care or treatment. So cool.